place this cheat sheet. I put it into the um, I put it into the general room, but I can put it here. I can put it into the. No, no, because I I don't I don't see it in general room for some reason. Oh shoot! Uh, I gave it to. Oh, I did it the wrong. I did it to the wrong person. <laughs> I was I was talking oh. to Javi. There you go. I can bring this. <laughs> I can bring this cheat sheet in too. Let me see if I can bring it in. Yeah, you can. Okay, hold on a I can bring it into the game here, so we have it available here too. How do I do that? I can't remember. <laughs> Custom tile. Let me see if I can grab it. in here, but I was reviewing uh, I do want to give very ample credit to uh, Jim O from the Armchair Dragoons because he originally did this um, module and I actually used the video of the module to do the cheat sheet so very very big thanks to him for his work in this area scale I got. Hold on, don't touch don't touch it. <laughs> it grows. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna put this on the side here. Just put alt you know, use the alt key over it and it'll kinda tell you what what you do here. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so for movement all right, so movement is, again, quarter inch per knot. So if you're going to go, um, uh, let's see, 32 knots, you're going to go 8 inches, right? So basically whatever, the inches times 4 is, 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 is basically the knots that you're at, right? Does that make sense, everybody? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, now here's the thing. You can turn to a maximum of 90 degrees, but only up to 45 degrees at a time. Does that make sense? So you can go, and you can only do it twice in your move. So your first your first turn can be up to 45 degrees, either port or starboard. And then, of course, your second turn can be up to 45 degrees, port or starboard. Okay? Mm -hmm. Does that okay. make sense as well? Okay. Yeah. Again, so, you can, you wait, can... you, you need you need you, you can turn twice, but can you turn uh, only up to like in ha half movement at the end of the movement? You or have can to. You, turn um, you have to go at least. Um, hold on a second. You need to go at least half an inch half. before you start turning. Okay. Ah, okay. So I can move an inch and turn ninety degrees, right? Mm -mm. No. No. Up, up no, no, no. to forty-five degrees per turn. You need to go oh, at least okay. another half an inch before you turn again. Ah, okay, okay. I yeah, I, I. The, ru uh, the rules okay. don't the rules don't explicitly say that, but that's I think that's what it meant. <laughs> what they meant, okay. All right, so you need to go. At no, least, okay. That, to... That's that's okay. No, I thought just that half inch, you know, half inch of movement will be so little that. Yeah, and just in general, won't matter that much. <laughs> in, in general, you have to move that much at least too. I think, which is equivalent of what two knots. Oh, okay, fine. All right, unless okay. you're, um, yeah, okay. Okay, does anybody have any questions about movement? And I'm no. going to help everybody throughout. I'm going to help everybody throughout, especially. I I only I only have question about speed. Uh, mm. Is there uh, can the speed be changed as much as you like between? Yes. Turns? Okay. Yes, within reason. Let's just keep it reasonable, okay? <laughs> no, okay. 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 Yeah, let, yeah. I, I know what you're asking. I know exactly why you're asking it. Um, and now, <laughs> you know, hand brakes on destroyers. And... Okay. <laughs> There's another <laughs> thing. Torpedo beats all over again. Okay, give me one second. Just need to save one thing down real quick. And this is going to be the OOB, and it has your speeds in it. Hold on a second. And I need to put this in here too. I do not have 
30 ship cards for all these. I do have all the information in a spreadsheet. I do not have ship cards for all these ships <laughs> in a week. Okay. Now, uh, okay. it's okay. Go I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you all the way. Okay. Now, I'm going to import. Let me just import this, this OOB just in case you all need to look at it during, which will give you your max speeds. Everybody's about 32 to 36. But here, this will tell you exactly. Okay, give me one second. Here we go. And again, don't touch it till I scale it. No jokes, please. <laughs> 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 all right. Um, all right. So let me try to get all this stuff a little bit out of the way here. All right. So if you mouse over this OOB I just did and hit Alt, you'll see your speeds on the right. Okay. Everybody's about thirty. What's every, the value? Value. Don't worry about that. That that's your that's okay. your overall that's your overall ship value. It's what's used in okay. it's what's used in computing. There's a formula involved. You don't need to know it. I can show you it later. But oh, please, what it, please show it to me later. I'd love to see it. Okay, so what it does is it factors in a lot of things. It factors in the tonnage. It factors in how many uh, primaries and secondaries you have and of what caliber. It factors in how many planes you may have as well. There's a lot of factors in there. Certain things are a little bit questionable, but it's been played <laughs> for years, and it and people, you know, again. You know, active naval officers have have said it's it's pretty pretty accurate, right? Even in it, even in its inaccuracies, it's pretty accurate in the, in the experience. Okay, all right. So don't get too hung up on all these particulars. Now, what I also did just to kind of ease it up just a little bit, at least, is if you mouse over your ship, it does tell you how many primary, secondaries, and torps you have. Okay, and that I will edit as you lose them. Okay. So, for example, over here, I'm mousing over the Tokai heavy cruiser. That's very nice. Very and it's cool. got ten. It's got ten eight-inch primaries. It's got four or five-inch secondaries, and it's got eight torp dudes. So it can fire up to four torps either port or starboard in, in a given turn. Okay, and I'll show you how stuff's plotted here in a second. Okay. All right. So any any general questions again on movement and or the general information about knots, etc. Let's go ahead and assign ships real quick. Um, let's see. Samurai, I'm going to put you in the Chokai, if you don't mind. Just Yeah, I can take it. Okay, hold on. I'm going to just note that. Okay. Who would like... Uh, the Australian, um, the HMAS Australia, U.S. primary. It's a heavy cruiser. It's got eight inches. Pretty good. Let's go ahead and um, I can take the Australian. I don't mind. Go ahead and sign it for now. And we can, um, if we want to experiment during this and switch ships, I'm fine with that entirely. Who would mm -hmm. like? Who would like the Kinugasa cruiser? Anybody? Japanese? Yeah, I can I can take it. Okay. Actually, because we are we have five players. Uh, it's okay. I mean, we're gonna we can switch around. We're just experimenting. Yeah, sure. We can switch around if you want to switch to a bigger ship or something. Yeah, like I, can, I can take some light okay. Japanese light cruisers. Again, a later on a submarine will show up. I'm gonna randomly place it. At which point it will be at periscope depth, and then we'll go from there and I'll explain those rules. Those are a little bit. Those are very interesting rules. <laughs> All right. <Okay>. All right. <clears throat> Torpedoes are pretty powerful in this. Okay. As they were in reality, but their their range, and you have to you have to plot, you have to actually Peter, plot. Do you go ahead, go ahead, Marshall? Do you roll for a location like a grid? N as far as what? The placement, random placement. For for if I'm gonna automatically do it, I I'm gonna do it's basically short or long, right? Um, mm -hmm. So, but that's not really how we would do it in reality. So. 
you're actually able to, I think I put it in this picture over here. Um, so if you look at that little example picture, you can see that somebody did their six inches, three at 48 inches, three at 47. Do you see what I'm talking about? In my little yeah. cheat sheet. All right. Yeah. But you have full flexibility on your judgment as long as it's not beyond your maximum. Okay. So if you have, again, this person in this example had six, six inches, right? So they placed mm -hmm. three of them at 48 inches where that arrow is pointing. That's the beauty of this system, right? Oh, no. No, I understand yeah. that. I was talking about the random placement for the submarine. Ah. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm going to do just a just a direction where they're coming from and, and maybe a distance in, et cetera. I just want to – I'm just yeah, randomize perfect. it. I'm randomize it just so I don't okay. know where it's coming yeah, from. Yeah, I don't mean to digress. Go <laughs> no, ahead. No, no, no. No, and, and no, it's a good question, and I don't – and honestly, that's a part of the play testing here. I, I – in reality, the the um, the player would have a starting point, and they would be in a separate room. Um, mm -hmm. Traditionally, you had a trace paper, and you would have okay. Another thing to note, and this would be this would be knowledgeable to everybody, is this is 180 inches per side. Okay, that's the only hint about distances I'm going to give, and please do not measure. <laughs> okay, that is mm -hmm. the key here. Uh, so again, the the width and height of this map overall is 180 inches and that's all you get okay um okay. i'm happy to run the chicago okay perfect i'm just gonna put you as a sign on there just so i remember give me one second uh also uh what about these planes those are there for my use later potentially but this is a night fight so we're not really going to use them i was just i was those, there, there are planes okay. in the area, but they're not, they're not in the area right now. They're not in the operational area. So planes are very. I don't want to introduce them on this. First of all, it was a night operation, so I'm not, I'm not going to introduce them. But what I, I brought them in here for, for basically demonstrations just to show you that. So what they would do for aircraft is there would be, there would be a post, um, and it would be on a large washer, right? So some people, if they have enough posts and, and enough uh, equipment, they would actually put one individual aircraft per post, which is a little ridiculous, right? So, but what they what they what they did by the late forty or by the mid forties is they would have upwards of ten aircraft per post. So what I what I will do probably in the real deal is when when, when and if we have aircraft introduced each of these aircraft would probably represent a flight of aircraft and they would all be on a post so what I would probably do is upwards of 12 aircraft on a post and the post basically would move as a whole like if we were move if we were moving these Dauntlesses we would move them as a whole on a, as if they were rolling along the floor on a post okay the really cool thing about aircraft and and and, and vice versa and bombing dive bombing from aircraft is that you actually have to plot the movement right and you have to you have to have plot the range so in other words you have to understand the Pythagorean theorem right you need to know you need to but in essence you'd have to basically estimate distance and height right so that's a really cool thing and I don't want to do it in this first point test but I did want to show aircraft just so we could talk about how cool that actually is right <laughs> because that's that is difficult and honestly it was difficult at the time, right? I mean, you, you, of course, as soon as they got closer, the closer it was, the easier it was to estimate, right? Same thing goes mm -hmm. for large caliber um, artillery, right? Uh, or large caliber turret fire, is that there is a baked in um, uh, ruling for, for saturation fire, right? So here's the deal. When I put out when I put out um, markers for somebody hitting something, you're not going to know whose whose shell it is. Okay, so here's a, a strong hint. <laughs> right? Don't everybody fire at the same ship necessarily because otherwise you're not going to know who hit it. Okay. <laughs> so, so that's the beauty of it. Now here's the thing, though. You know. Uh, just keep on moving your shot and you might figure out who you are right but so there is an over, there's a baked in oversaturation which is a beautiful rule because in later rule sets they they have exact rules for that right so just it's, it's an interesting thing <clears throat> all right so once we're done movement what you do 
is let's just say Australia is firing on Chukai. Okay. What you would do is anywhere along the ship you choose to do it. You can do it from anywhere. You probably want to do it just so that just for your own brain's sake, you probably want to do it from roughly the same point every time, right? Now, if you're head on, your rear mounts will not be able to arc on them. Okay. I'm not gonna make you I'm not gonna force you to tell me exactly which ones. You, all you need to do is saying I'm firing my primaries. You should figure it out though, because what you need to do is then take a text marker and tell me how many at what distance. Okay. So if you know that only four of your I don't even I don't remember eight inches. If you know that only four of your eight inches can 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 bear, right? You could do two two eight inches at forty eight inches, or and two four um, two at forty seven inches. You you want to separate by at least an inch. Let's just go ahead and agree on that. But we're pretty far away. I'm not going to tell you how far away. <laughs> Right. I'm just gonna say you're pretty far away, and you know you're pretty far away. Right. All right. So. Um, okay. That how how wide did you say the table was again? 180 inches. All right. So Let's write that so down. the first the first three or four fires by everybody are gonna be completely way off. Right. Right. But that's the fun of this. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and okay. that's honestly that's kind of how it was too. I mean, you had directors, of course, in World War II, so that of course helped you a little bit. But th this was designed interwar, right? So it was designed primarily based on um, you know World War One, of course, and pre-dreads and so forth. But uh, okay, so your red ones are your primary fires, and your your white arrows, the larger ones, are your secondaries. Okay, now these small ones are your torpedo fires. Okay. All right, so when you declare a torpedo fire, what we'll do is we'll mark where it was fired from as, as zero. When it moves, it'll be marked as one. And when it moves another time, it'll be marked as two. And it has a maximum of three moves. Each are eight inches in length, okay? And I think I mentioned that on this cheat sheet on the right in black there. You see that? On the, on the cheat sheet on the right, I mentioned all this stuff. Torpedoes run at eight inches a move. Uh, the Allied torps move up to three moves. The Japanese torps with the long lances, they move up to four moves, and they do more damage. Okay? Does that make okay. sense? These, yep. are, these, are very sp these are somewhat particular rules that you would just learn mm -hmm. from experience as captains. All right. Yeah. You're, 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 you're going to have to remind me of like, ha like half of this as, as we get on, but yeah. Yeah, that's fine. And again, we'll take it really slow. Um first two turns, let's just say for now, the first two turns I'll help you entirely and then we'll kind of let take the training wheels off, okay? Okay. Alright. Again, the big red arrows are your primaries and you write down in text next to it where you want to aim, uh, excuse me, the arrow is the exact aiming. It, it, uh, it's going to be a little hard to, to exactly aim based on the fact that tabletop simulator only increments in 15 degree rotations. So one thing that might help is you might want to, one thing for clarity's sake, I'm wondering if we should have people actually mark the degree. That would be interesting actually. Like in other words, the true degree that you want to fire at. You, okay, Let, let's just see how it goes by just aiming it, okay? Let's, let's see how it goes just for aiming. And we'll go from there because at this distance, for example, you you exactly getting it aimed at that ship mm -hmm. is going to be excruciatingly difficult because of how tabletop simulator works, because it only do, uh, it only rotates in fifteen degrees. See if, yeah, uh, the advice uh, Jim gave was lock the ship in place, okay, and then you can kind of you know scooch the arrow just a little. Right. That way, but lock the ship in place after it moves. That's a very good point. Um, I think the problem ends up being though that the this right here can only rotate in fifteen degrees. Well, so. it, it, you move it against the, the ship, push it against the ship, like that, you like mean? this. See how I've got it? Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. See, I see what then you mean. that that allows you a little uh, bit more fine control. Oh, really? You actually, can have. Oh, we can... I did not know that. I shouldn't have told you. I would have been seeking everybody here, and everybody. Was <laughs> the most amazing How naval. How do you commander. lock that? 
It's and, Nelson. Uh, right just, click uh, the object mm -hmm. and click lock. Okay. And then the, the oh. ship won't move. Oh, and it shit, acts I as a. Know. Oh, sorry. I, I was. I locked the wrong thing. You locked uh, the arrow? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. All right, so then you're saying that this. That... Yeah, but the problem is that the arrow still can only rotate in 15 degrees. No. Yeah, but. No. Okay, it no, no, no. So, so, okay, hold the arrow, right? right? And then hold down right click and left click at the same time while you're holding it. Right? And now kind of put, put, put it away from the ship. Uh, okay. And now once you kind of sort of lean in into the ship, you can use the ship as a pivot to gently sort of rotate the arrow around like, the ship. Life has like I'm not using... Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not like I'm, I'm not using the rotate command at all. I'm just holding the arrow with both right and left click at the same time. And then just like physically mashing it into the ship and using the ship as like a pivot. I didn't know you could. I didn't know you could do that. Move elements while holding against the table with the knife. That's that's useful. That's interesting. <laughs> Tipped it. But yeah, but you have to lock the ship in place because if you don't, you'll you'll knock the ship and it'll mm. go flying as well. Okay. All right. You, you know what would be interesting for consistency right. is if each ship was on like a pair of posts, like. The little ships in actual battleship, if you ever played battleship, yeah. mm -hmm. how it has those little <laughs> pegs in the bottom, and yeah. then the ship is slightly raised, and then the arrow would just slot against those pegs mm -hmm. every time. Mm -hmm. And then you'd have a consistent uh, arrow placement. It would be even more useful if Tabletop Simulator guys finally made <laughs> yeah. elements yeah. able to rotate one degree. One degree, for God's <laughs> sakes, yes, please. Okay. Yeah, because right. because you can you can with gizmos you can rotate it however you want, but, but then it as soon as you touch it, the it snaps to the yes, it degree. snaps the moment you touch it, which is yeah. So where whenever you get it the way you want it, be careful because if you move it at all, it's going to snap to one of the fifteen degrees. But I would just lock the arrow, lock the arrow, but guys, because when Peter goes to measure, something gets jostled. Lock yeah. all of your stuff. Keep it locked. <laughs> So tabletop simulator itself will be keeping our accuracy extremely horrible until we're short range. <laughs> I think, generally. Okay. We'll see. No, I'll, I'll hit those ships. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Um, um, just for just for reference, are we? Do we have to lead this shot? Do we have to a a aim at where the ship is going to be, or do we kind of aim? At no, it's it? always um, it's always done after the movement. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, so you move and then you plot your shot, and then we determine what happens. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, now, you know what? The thing I don't remember is when the heck did you, the torpedoes move? I think they move between it. I think it's plotted and then moved between it. Let me look that up real quick, if you don't mind. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, wait. Don't show too much here. Right. During the movement phase and before a ship has been moved, our torpedoes must be fired. Okay, so it's actually the torpedo firing is done as a part of the move. Okay, so you plot your torpedoes in the in the movement portion, and then it moves the eight inches. Okay, that's something to Good. remember. Okay. Something I'll add to the cheat sheet as well later. All right, so why don't we just uh, why don't we just kind of jump into into the, mm -hmm. the yeah, mix exactly. here? <laughs> That's um, does everybody have a ship assigned to them for now? So I think Australia, we got Avi, uh, Marshall, you're in Chicago. Yeah. Um, where, where did we put you, Tom? We put you on the Kinugasa. Yes. Okay. So basically, what I'll do automatically is I'm just gonna go ahead and keep a formation of some form. Now, if you want to re, if you want to change this formation over here as allies, you can go ahead and just decide that if you want. Just to, I mean, within within reason here, if you want to somehow just change the formation at all, but it seems like a reasonable formation to start with. Anyway, um, the Japanese are concentrated over here, of course. If you want to change this formation, at least within maybe within a couple inches, just in any direction or whatever. 
you can move these just a little bit. Just don't move them towards each other too much. I'll just give you just a short bit to correct that just a little bit. Again, within reason. Um, you said it's at night, so we can't really see each other yet. Um, the, <laughs> the rules are not set in stone on that. Um, as a matter of fact, there aren't any. <laughs> um, so, so the way, and, and that's why I wanted to, um, let's play it out as is, and let's talk about that. Because now what they, yeah, what they did in, um, now there are some, there are some player tidbits in the John Curry edited version of this, right? And it does mention that some people would take pen flashlights and do pin, uh, and basically try, try to emulate the, the same thing as for um, firing, they would try to, within their move, I think maybe at the end of the move, they would actually try to plot a searchlight. <laughs> so that's very difficult to do within a certain distance. What I would probably normally do is say, um, is, is go ahead and just get the ships within a certain, di you know, it's just... <laughs> Let's just roll with it. Yeah, exactly. It's just yeah. at this it, point that's you... not a condition we're testing right now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Right. Yeah, no, no. Like I, like yeah, like I just didn't want to like you know like start doing like max range shots at an enemy that I, I really should not be able to see. Let me bring in a few marbles here just in case folks want some go marbles. Um, let me bring in a few of these if you want. To I do like marbles. Good. If you want to use these as markers, it might help movement a little bit. If you want to like mark behind your ship or something, it might help you to do that. Uh, I can copy these to however many people want to use them. All right, so that's it. Go for it. Um, you can um, you can come in as max at max knots if you want. You can state a little bit less. Um, I I think the rule of thumb. Generally speaking, from from the other rule sets, what you can probably like reduce by up to about six knots, maybe at max. So if you're at max, trying to reduce your speed, let's just reduce it in about six knot increments. Is that is that agreeable to everybody? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, just just something that makes that makes reasonable sense. You're not going to go from thirty six to zero. <laughs> okay. So then, how how fast would our, like the our convoy sort of be moving? Like like sixteen knots, eighteen knots. Um, you can start however you, you can you can declare how fast you're starting as a matter of fact uh -oh. go ahead and declare it and I'll mark it on your ship if you want uh, I guess 18 knots would be like a reasonable sort of cruising steaming speed okay good morning everybody hey. good afternoon really but <laughs> is, that, is that what we're doing we're coming in at 18 knots you can agree to that if you want, I mean, if you if if you wanna if you wanna go faster, I'm happy to go faster. Well, uh, are we cruising or are we, you know, I mean, what's the precondition of this scenario? We should set something realistic for fun. I think that. so. If we would normally just be cruising around in this formation at 18 knots, I don't know about this close, but maybe at night. At um, night, yes. But yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, 18 knots is fine if that's what we're doing. Yes. Here. We can so, let, yeah, let's just um, let's go ahead and just agree to that the first move. How about that for everybody? And then you can adjust. Okay. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah. Yeah. what was the uh, password for this? Because I was understood it. Okay, hold on a second. You want to watch it directly? Fletcher Pratt rocks with capital F, uh, or or is that what it is? Fletcher Pratt rocks. With... Yeah, that was the. If you look up in the general room, Mac, you'll see. The... It's Fletcher rocks with a capital F, capital R, no space. Fletcher rocks. I just, I just repasted it into the general room. <clears throat> okay. All right, so. Let's see again. Remember that um, it is so every knot is one quarter, quarter of an inch. So okay, so that so if I'm doing eighteen, that's four and a half. Uh, that's four and a half inches. Can okay, so just go ahead? So if I wanted to just sort of yeah. So okay, so if I wanted to turn, could it? Uh, can I do? Peter, so, you just lo yeah. look over this to tell me if this is right. You just go at least a half an inch first, and then you can do it right there if you want yeah. to turn. If you want to turn a little bit. So then, turn. if I do, so I have like four and a half inches. So could I do sort of? Yeah. That's three inches. That's fine. And then you can and turn. And then well. turn. Um, mm -hmm. Yep, that's good. Or that's... however much more you want. 
and then yeah, go another 30? inch and a half. And I can turn up to 45, yeah, which would be this. Correct. Okay, and then I can then in the straight line go yep. uh, about an inch, inch and a half. Okay. If anybody else needs help moving, just tell me. There we go. And that's okay, that's cool. Now let's lock myself into place. Okay, um, so you're turning in front of me, huh? <laughs> yes. You hear I that over the radio. <laughs> <laughs> hey boys, we're we're testing the new rudder. Well, I can uh, I can measure I cannot measure between, but I can measure. You can measure your movement by and do so do the key. tab. You use the tab key. Yeah, when yeah, you... yeah. I'm I'm do doing that. Okay. Just so if it is, I I will just want to go straight for now. So it's. 18, uh, one for Finch is uh, a knot. one knot, right? So you're so going, how fast are you going? 18, around so that's four and a, four and a half knots. You, 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 go back. No, Sorry, no, four, 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 four and a half inches. Knots. Four, four, and, four and a half inches, right yeah. there. Yeah, exactly. It's going to take us a little bit to get into, okay, just. <laughs> yeah, sure, the, the, yes, the scale. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it all seems like great, and then you like like start moving. And it's like, oh, that's like, <laughs> that's that. No, oh. you're you're pretty far apart. Yeah. Yeah, nautically speaking. Ex exactly, pun intended. <laughs> Who's being all fancy with the lines? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Marshall, <laughs> trying to <laughs> convey intent. I don't know how to give the order though. <laughs> so you want to collide and. <laughs> no, I wanna I wanna cut into him so I end up behind him. I he's, think can, he's gonna be moving this way. I think you can. So I can it. probably, probably do like about, that, you know. I think you'll be about yeah. here. So you can go ahead and move there if you want. Right around. Okay. Like we can kind of. Yeah, you can probably go. Yeah, just about like that. There you're good. I think you're good there. Okay, who commands the rest of the Japanese force? I'm going to, but I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it after you're done. <laughs> they just sort of follow you. Okay, I'm just going to get okay, some of I, the Yeah, I, I, I think I will just move your body forward. I think I'm just going to move him forward, too, about like four and a half. Okay, so hopefully I don't get in front of you. I can, I can move right. Yeah, just go ahead and move him up. Just, just move him up relatively, please. Oh. And Mac, you're welcome to come in and you're welcome to play ship if you want. Well, I didn't know how long you we were gonna go, and I, I don't know if I I probably have to leave in like an hour. So you can play for an hour if you want, but whatever. You can just guide me if you want to. Just yeah, I, you'll be my sounding board on, on my automation here. Uh, okay. I ha I have one problem with. Because I'm holding tab and moving and everything. You're fine. You got it. You got yeah, it right there. But 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 then I stay switched to ruler. Oh. Is that normal or oh, is quick. there is there a way that it reverts? I to... don't. That might be just you. <laughs> that might be. You. Should just. But, well, because if I hit Indiana? once, it just leaves that. And because I I stay when I. Uh, okay. I I get it. I know what I'm doing wrong. Fine. Everything's okay. Yeah. What what are you doing here? Nice, nice maneuvers. <laughs> <laughs> We're simulating the uh, chaos of command. Yeah, yeah the, exactly. The American <laughs> admirals in a fit of panic. You're you're giving. <laughs> you, you're just you're just showing in practice why the fo formation of follow the leader were. <laughs> <laughs> Where you used in real life, because that's what happens when you do not do that. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. We're just practicing. All right. Um, I think that's it for that move, right? Okay. So here's where you would want to declare if you're speeding up. And uh, I think uh, what we, I think what we I think we what, what we generally agree to is up to six knots different of uh, change. All right. Let's yeah, just keep it. I I'd like to speed up six knots and go to a uh, twenty-four. Okay. So I want to note that down. Yeah, 24 knots. Let's go. You don't, uh, again, oh, people don't have to do that, of course, but that's what you just heard over the radio, I think. <laughs> 24 <laughs> knots, fellas. <laughs> that's my, the that's my best up. Australian accent. <laughs> 24 knots, eh? <laughs> A little bit of Canadian mixed in there. 
<laughs> there were Canadian. For I think there were Canadian forces in this area. Uh, I don't know if there were ships. They definitely were probably aircraft and probably ground troops. But I don't know about Canadian ships. I think oh, I there think might there be. Were. I think there were. Okay, so another thing that I didn't I didn't say before was that your ranges are on this gunnery table over here. Uh, probably useful. Uh, bottom left of the map, if you alt over it, there's your ranges for your different sized um, primaries and secondaries. Okay, those are in inches. And that also kind of gives you roughly an idea of what the damage is per hit, but you don't need to worry about that. There is also penetration involved. Um, uh, if you look over at this other chart, which you generally would know as a captain how much firepower, um, how much caliber and thickness you're dealing with. So, but but as you're looking across the the the, the great blue or, or aqua blue in this case, see, you would not know what the hell you're firing on, right? Or how thick its armor is. So you got to kind of guess. <laughs> the general rule of thumb: the closer you get, and the more you fire, the more you're gonna hit. <laughs> the more you're going to get in. Um, if you do not penetrate the um, enemy armor, then it's half damage. There's some other limitations involved, too, that kind of round it down pretty considerably, but you don't know this. <clears throat> Has everybody moved again? Oh, oh second move now. Second Let's move. Go. Okay. Just, to, so... just go ahead and just declare your knots and move. Yeah, 24. Just uh... Moving the same. Staying at 18. I, yeah, I'm, I'm going to move just... 18, but turn to the right, 45. Yep, that's fine. I think you can get about right. 45 to starboard. So that's three inches, and I want to turn 15 degrees like that, and then... I think you would two. end up... I think I you would end up Japanese about there. there. Just... You can move Chicago there. Again, I, I, I... Only, only... There you go, perfect. Hokai, Hokai will... Yeah. You, have, you have a good uh, natural sense of distance, Marshall, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'm I am pretty good at dead reckoning in real life. Yeah, uh, then, then you're probably a great Fletcher Pratt player. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> that's the uh, one thing. I just like, want. Go oh, ahead. Uh, yeah, I just want to say, um, maybe we should intercept them instead of just staying in that um, formation. Like we can cross them in our T formation. Uh, okay. If you know what I mean. I'm glad you mentioned crossing. I'm glad you mentioned crossing the T. Okay, so here's yeah. the deal. here's the thing. This is how it's. This is how that works in Fletcher. Is that if you cross it and you get a straight on bow shot or a straight on stern shot, then it counts as a deck hit against deck armor thickness instead of belt armor thickness. Okay, so that does okay. that. That's kind of like a baked in. It's not necessarily realistic because of arc of fire necessarily. But the other little caveat to that is that if it exactly measures on top of a turret, you actually get a turret hit. <laughs> Which, that's kind of micro, that's micromanaging the exact spot, and, and it might be a little bit difficult in tabletop simulator. So we'll see if it, we'll, we'll see, that's, that's part of this play test. I want to see how accurate that can actually be in this. But, and I think that's why Jimmo kind of just did it more as a, a deck armor shot that is involved so as written if you're bow on you if it if it exactly is on the physical turret of the ship model then it's a turret and not not a deck I have, a, have a calculate arc of fire yeah exactly yeah. but you're not going to hit the deck by arc of fire if you're short range or point blank you're just not right, <laughs> right. <laughs> but it's okay Okay, so next move... Is everybody... Let me and, move these. I don't think we've moved yeah. up these guys here. Ne next time we will turn and advance speed. I, I just wanted to move things forward. Yeah. But no problem. <laughs> okay, these guys are going to burn. And I, I, I thought no one is commanding rest of the Japanese force. I didn't want to... You're fine. Just micromanage it. Speeding these destroyers up. Okay. Get these out of the way a little bit for now. 
So everybody's done here, I think. Is everybody done here? Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. Japanese side. Things are things will start um, heating up. So I Eventually. will lock lock Japanese ships to. Do you want me to set up a separate room at all for y'all to talk? I can if you want. If you want to start I'm, getting little sneaky on each other. Okay, well, I think, let's just do this in the open for this playtest. Yeah, I don't think the tactics are going to get too spicy. Oh, interesting. <laughs> okay, so AOB is going to fire. Wait, 44 is this? inches. But this is me, I think. If, if you are I talking mean, about uh, the yeah, yeah, Alma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm playing. Yeah, who who commands um, except me commanding Kinugasa who who gets Japanese um, he, uh Samurai ha or Mood has uh, has Chokai. Yeah. Okay. Do you do you want to take also? I don't know. He might Kako? want to take the front. Or, or, yeah, he, that's he, he might just want to. If you want to transfer to the. Uh yeah, I can also take it. Tom, do you want to transfer to four times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, so you will take the first three there. The, the front three and yeah. I took rest? Okay, yeah, no let's problem. Let's do that. Yep. Yeah. I'm changing the assignment on the text here. As a matter of fact, if you right click and assign it to yourself in the back there, Tom, it would help me a lot. Uh, Just put assign to. In the text. Maybe. In the description? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will. A as time goes on. If it doesn't have um, mood in it, then it's you. Okay, okay I, I, I think I cannot. Yeah, can it's, do it's this okay, you don't have to do that. As long as they are locked, I think. I, I have the other ones marked, so the ones that aren't marked are you. Alright, so we are in okay. another turn unless somebody's firing. Anybody firing? I. I, no. I I want to I'm fire. On, I, want, I want to speed up. Okay, hold on. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Okay, everybody stop. Wait, um, Do not move yeah. me. Okay. So he is estimating his he's estimating his aiming, and then Marshall, you just take a text. You know how to do text on here? I think you do at this point. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> You're like an expert at this. <clears throat> so in your f let's see, what is that? Chicago. Let's go look at its turret configuration. It's a eight a nine eight inch guns. Yeah, it's three by three, and it looks like where are the? Oh, this must be the turn. Okay, you got you That's have a ball you have you, know, you have you six know, in the bow. Yeah, so so you have six turrets to handle or barrels. Oh, excuse me, yeah, barrels. I have six in the bow. Okay, yeah. well, all right. Uh, and then, uh, am I submitting a card to you? No, or? you just do text right on C. Just take text and put it right next to it. Yeah, all right. In the real deal, we'd probably do it into a an individualized text room. Well. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that. Mm-hmm. 42, there we go. You, All still right. got, you still got one more, right? Do I? You got. I have three, three turrets. You have right. no. You got two turrets, each with three. Yeah. So there's six total tubes. So you got one more if you want oh, to. Oh, oh, you do it per tube. Mm -hmm. you it well, you per, you can mark uh, how many you want. You, you can mark it any way you want. Okay. You can. Scroll. Well, let's just let's do two. Wouldn't they fire together as a pair of guns? It's a triple turret. Yes, but. Yes, but we're not going to hair split that. Okay. At least according to the Featherstone, you can split it up however you want. Okay. Yeah. I, I thought you can split up, but... You're going to do two, two, two. Okay. okay. You're going to do two, two, two like that? I think that probably means... Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. In reality, you probably wouldn't be able to do that. But, okay, so two, two, two. It's all right. I understand that as two, two, two. All right, is anybody... Was there any other other declared fire... By anybody on either side. Nope. I won't. And again, just to remind yourselves on the bottom left here, in this um, gunnery table chart, if you alt over it, you'll see your ranges mm. for your sizes. What kind of size guns you got up here? You got eight inches. It's forty-four inches for some of these guys. <laughs> 
Is that all of the gun replacement? Yeah, I think that's it. It's information. I want it. <laughs> e so e you know, to... I'm not expecting to, you know, sink the Bismarck it's, here right away or the hood. It's the, it, it, it's the ranging shot. Yep. Which okay, is so, accurate, I suppose, to real yeah, life. Yeah, pretty much. Um, now, my assumption here, I'm going to ask you after the fact, my assumption is that you're trying to fire, fire on the Chokai. It's the first black blob in front of you. I'm assuming this is what you're firing on. Uh, actually, to the left. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. All right, I was gonna, that's why I asked. Okay. All right. But really, I'm just chucking shells yeah, out there. Yeah, so your maximum, what are you, What? how many inches are these? Well, my effective penetration range is 44. So beyond 44, I'm not going to penetrate anything, so I'm probably not going to want to, you know, yep. fire. But, okay, so you're going to get a f some missed shot. But like I said, I want that information. Let's do this All right, back. I don't think you have to put the others out. Oop, what the heck happened there? Why is that doing a... Whoa, you can do that? that? I didn't know you do that. <laughs> I don't even know. That looked like a Pythagorean. That is such a tool? <laughs> oh, my. Splash marker. What is going on there? You need to change your ruler. Oh, your that ruler. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I didn't mess with it before. That's what I don't understand. Oh, hey, this is supposed to be blindfolded. You guys right. close your eyes. Now you hit B. You hit B. Oh, you can't. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah the, the combat resolution, the measurement that he's doing, we're all supposed to be blindfolded for that. Ah, uh, and if you look at the text chat underneath on the left, it actually tells you who did it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep it on his. God, I tell you what, it's kind of difficult to get these right exactly. Well, it doesn't matter. It's yeah, that's close yeah. enough. We yeah, know that we're we landing that a shot about halfway. Oh wait, you did it at forty-three. Okay, hold on a second. Sorry. I think it's a little bit closer right about there. Yeah, that's it. Okay. All right, good. Okay, I'm remove, I'm removing. Yep. Well, that can stay there, but I'm removing this. So you locked it. If you can delete your text, that'd be great too. Um, you don't have to, but I can I can do that later for you if you want. Ooh. Oops. It's all right. I think this one. Right um, Peter, I wanted to speed up another six knots up to thirty. Okay. For this movement. And Marshall, you're staying at 18, or you? Changing? No, let's go up to 24. Okay. And uh, let's continue. Uh, let's go 45 degrees to the right. So you're gonna end up like this. Now, Australia, what is she doing? What, what's her speed? Uh, so I'm at 30 now. Okay, perfect. Then there's no risk of collision. All right. We might as well go ahead and move that first, then, Javi. Yeah. So if All I. Right. Uh... I'm gonna yeah, wait, I'm gonna I, wait will, done I would speed up by six knots uh, to twenty-four uh, right now. Three, also. and then <laughs> I like how both. I like how basically both sides are measuring from Marshall's shot. Basically, <laughs> <laughs> that's why I did it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. The Japanese right. are like, oh, that looked like a forty-three inch. <laughs> Shot. Write that down. Uh, write that down. Write that down. Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So about there, and then I would make the turn, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. So like that. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. All right. Um, Campero's gonna kind of. Now, did, um... How many knots uh, were you at? 18. So I moved four and a half inches. Is that too much? No, you did that right, but you, you actually could have changed your knots before moving. Oh, 
Well, that's so okay. Go. I want I want Australia to be clear. Yeah, I'm clear. I'm like I'm doing thirty, and I'm about to speed up to thirty-two in a minute. So I'm I'm super clear. Okay. Uh, I speed up to thirty knots. These guys go five inches. Wait, what, Can you imagine what? trying to do this in sim plot? No, and that's why we're not <laughs> using to... command C. Honestly, right? So, yeah, the whole one of the whole things about this is to kind of determine whether we can do this in like a two to two hour match. Which once we become absolute experts at this, right? Oh, probably yeah, it looks good. like it looks like there might be some training required. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but with a three day event, you can have you know one Just or two hours track. training session. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, you can say this is your, you know, and, and that might be for everybody across the board. They're going to have to, you know, have a preliminary training session that they'll have to pass, you know, before they play. <laughs> they'll they'll yeah. want to pass it, you know. It's not like yeah, oh, you, run, you run, didn't pass. Run a little thing like there's, you know, you put like a, put like an unmoving sort of stationary target and you have to basically sail around it and sink it type thing. Yeah, yeah, maybe that. Yeah, anything. Okay, everybody uh, done okay. movement? No. No, I, I only to... did one movement. The first half. I, right? I, I wanted to... You can... Ask yeah, we don't... I... Okay, hold, on, hold on. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. Okay, so for movement... You do all your movement in one move. Now, if you want... Oh, okay. If you wanted so to maybe I'm done. Up, if you... you go right. ahead and finish your move, yeah. No, I guess I'm done. Four and yeah, a half inches. Is that it? At eight knots, you are. Yeah. Wanted okay. to ask Peter if I'm if I'm performing it correct. So yeah, you just gotta if go. They, if you... they are twenty-four knots, then they move six inches. That so can right. I move three three inches? Yep. And then move and then go port or starboard up to forty-five degrees, and then do another one at the yeah. end if you want. I mean, that's that's okay. that's basically but... how. I think that's probably for sanity's sake. That's probably how we should do it. Is is let them split it. Yeah. So like. Okay. I will. Inch. I will move him to two inches. Then. That's um, how I think Hard Oak did it a long time ago. <laughs> they did half inch. So and... it moved one inch. Now it can move. Let's say two inches. Uh, perform second. You're moving his ships, by the way. He's. No, He's thought... in control of the first three. Yes, and I'm not moving them. Oh, I, I yeah, moving but them. oh I'm sorry, you can... are. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, uh... Uh, I can't move to... I haven't I... memorized your hand colors yet. Sorry. No problem. <laughs> All right, just somebody... uh, by the way, I think we're done. I can't here. move to Shukai. Oh, it's locked. Hold on. Here, now it's unlocked. Oh, thanks. And if anybody wants it, Oh wait, where did all the marbles go? Oh, somebody stacked them. How did who did that? That's creepy. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody seen Foundation yet? Uh, no. Okay, you've just caused good. the end of the the universe. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> How's one the Foundation? And it's very good. Did you see? Yeah. Um, I remember reading it when I was like. <laughs> Yeah, when I, when I was probably too young to read it and really get a good feel for it, but I think I was about like 10 or 11. I was just like, yeah, this is great, but it's a, little, a little heady, a little heady at that age. <clears throat> all right, but if it, yeah, if anybody needs it, you can take one of these white marbles to kind of mark where you came from, if that helps you at all. And if anybody, if we run out of them, then just yell. Okay, so I finished movement. Okay, so I think everybody's moved over here. Everybody's moved over here, correct? No. Nope. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. If you intend to fire, mark your primary, secondaries, or tor. Well, primaries or secondaries. And again, a reminder Ooh. is that if you want to fire a torpedo, you fire it before you move. <clears throat> you mark it and so then it moves. How okay. far? How far do torpedoes run, more or less? Okay, hold on. All right. So if you go over to cheat sheet over here, um, alt it. Uh, torps run eight inches a move 
Uh, oh, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Three, three moves. Three yeah, moves. yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Now, is that. I, I think they actually probably technically go quicker, right? But that's all right. Although, that's about what? What do we gauge that at? Actually, that's about 32 knots, isn't it? Yeah, that's about right, right? That's roughly right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so nobody's firing, nobody's firing primaries, nobody's firing... Uh, I'm shooting. Okay. Can I shoot? You can try. Yeah. <laughs> you may certainly try. Yeah, so you can take a red... If you're going to fire your primaries, which I'm assuming that's what you're doing, you just take one of these arrows, and... I don't know, Marshall, if you want to help him. Let me lock his ship. Let me lock your ship real quick. I'm locking your ship. Now you want to kind of physically try to bump it up against there and then move it. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right, yeah, you're locked. Yeah. Very good. You just just move it. You got it? I think he's... Well. Uh, Yeah, I think. And that's the beauty, uh, and that's the so beauty of it, because that's all you're gonna get. All right. Um, so let's. So you need to mark down as a text. So what you do? Do you you know how to take the text over here on the on your menu? You do text, and right next to it, what you want to do is you want to split up your. Hey. And now your front. I think you have two turrets. In the Chokai, I don't think you're. The Chokai is a weird configuration. It has. It has two turrets. Of let me go look at the picture of it. Sorry. It, yeah, it has two turrets. Wait, well, three turrets. Yeah, but he can't. I don't, I don't think he. Can bear, I don't think <laughs> no. he can bear that that third one. Do you? No, I don't think so. I think he can only bear the front. Although, two. Oh, wait, in that direction, he might. <laughs> and it's a Sichoku cruiser. Uh, yeah, I think we with this aspect, it might be a uh, possible. I agree. That's where we would have to judge it, right? So yeah, I think you right. can. So let's see. I will show you pictures of this later to show you why it's a little bit of yeah, a freaky. That it's, it's, a very, it's a very interesting we're... ship. Um, I think they just threw that third one on there just to have an extra one. I don't know who designed it like yeah. that mm -hmm. and thought it was a good idea. Mm -hmm. It took <laughs> some time. Yeah, because any any going... any closer this direct, any to starboard of that probably wouldn't. Yeah. That third turret. I don't know. This is this the only ship that had this configuration, and I don't know the absolutely the reasoning. Okay, about. so so Pro sam probably probably a reason. Samurai, you have to take. So what you want to do is you want to do this. You want to do, you want to take this, and you want to say. Oop. Hold on a second. I I bet they wanted to have it above the other two. <laughs> All right, but... just 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 tell me what your estimates are, Samurai. Uh, like, uh, 80 inches. 80? Okay, hold on. Yeah. Have... You... Wait, what, what's, is it the range that... Hold on a second. Because the, these are 8 inch guns, so the range is 44 inches, I think, right? Yeah. So he'll, he'll go, the the he'll go the maximum. Max, max effective range. Yeah? yeah, he's gonna go max effective. Alright, so 44 inches, um... The assumption is that you're gonna do 44 and throw 43 and split it, because I don't, I don't think you're gonna hit it, but... Everybody done? Otherwise? Yep. Okay, so we will take a marker and let's go mark this out. Okay, he did it like this. Okay, you're right about there. If anybody can put their arrow there real quick, sorry. Yeah, thank you, keep your hand there. That's where you go. Yeah, is, is that good? Can I move it? Yep, go for it. Cool. Okay, that's where you see the splash, and that's where you all see it in front of you as well. Okay. Okay. Is that it for that turn? All right. Okay, I'm going to unlock the Chokai. Anybody else locked? Just make sure you're not locked. Okay, now, very clearly declare your knots before you move. Also, if you... Just, just one person at a time. Okay, so Javi, why don't you go ahead and move then? 
Yeah, uh, so I'm doing 32 knots maximum speed, so that's eight eight inch. So we're gonna move up four, then we're gonna turn okay, a little so bit. Of it, technically, move, yeah, so this is what this is what in the KS uh, actual we we um, will have to have like an order sheet, oh. or there are gonna be separate rooms because this is technically supposed to happen simultaneously. So that's the only thing you kind of lose here a little bit. So Japan should, uh, Tom, you should start. Tom and Samurai, yep. you should start moving your okay. ships actually and not look at what I uh, will speed up to 30 knots, so it is 7. And if I, if I may ask, just avoid looking at what they're doing, okay? Everybody just gentlemen's agreement. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> For now. Seven. <laughs> I'm staring right at it, Venkman. <laughs> I, looked in the, I looked in the streams. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to uh, 24 knots. Okay. And just head headed straight. Okay. Here, I'll put. I'll keep my. I'll keep my mouse back here. If you want to move it. Okay. For the Chicago, at some point, I'm going to be turning left. Okay. You hear over the radio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which we need to be kind of. I mean, when we really, when we do it, it, you know, we might be a little bit less lenient on that, right? Well, so that's you know what? Because you're not, because you're, you're not going to be radioing each other. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm turning to fort right now. You know, you know <laughs> what? I'm actually very. I, I would love to have some book or any account of the communication between ships because it is not mentioned I don't, anywhere sufficiently. I, but I, I know I. I read about one, it was late in the war, about the American destroyer attack uh, on the Japanese destroyers that were very successful. And during, the, they, the, they chased the survivors and they basically banter to each other during the chase <laughs> between the destroyers on the radio. <laughs> From what I read, because they were like banter. Oh, what? B because they were chasing them. Basically, almost they say, "Oh, we'll be chasing them to Japan," and they start <laughs> to pondering. Yeah, but will they have the same, like, fuel hoses as we, so we can refuel? And there was banter between bridges for the destroyers. So <laughs> that's During pretty the good. <laughs> so, <laughs> so apparently, it was that the radio telephone was pretty. Simple to use. <laughs> okay, one other thing I need to tell people is that um, you cannot fire over a friendly ship unless the ship is a destroyer or smaller and you are a cruiser or larger. <laughs> Little boys. Okay. Now, in for, I mean, you don't, the allies wouldn't know this, but yeah, you only have one. You have two here. I would say if we want to be really evil, we could just force the players to use signal signals and. Uh, well, yeah, let's know, talk about pictures. Let's, let's talk through that a little bit because yeah, you wouldn't be radioing each other. Not not what you would do is probably radio each other okay of right before you're heading in and say establish a right echelon formation or whatever formation and match you know match leader or whatever. Oop, what happened there? Somebody. Did somebody move this? Uh, I think I think yeah. When moving the arrow, I think the uh, the the Canberra and the, the the bagel got like knocked. Okay. I'm assuming the Canberra got knocked. I don't think she was pointing that I way. Think she's about like this. Yeah. I'd imagine that most likely be um, the uh, what was the name of the flashing code? Like just Morse. Yeah, yeah. Just use Morse? Right, especially in you got to imagine what this would be like at night. Yeah, like, horrible. And you would probably even you would probably even include a little bit more distance just for that, right? Yeah. Um, right. I don't know if you would run this close necessarily, right? I have yeah exactly. I have because, no idea because of the exact, exact same thing we are running. It's like you almost ran into each other here. I actually actually yes, but you know what? Actually, I I I'm not sure if they weren't running closer to each other just so they'd be able to see them, and I don't know if they were yeah. directional. Directional navigation lights that can be seen only in the aft quarter. Yeah, just, let me. Sorry, game game question. Has everybody moved here? I think we have. And has everybody moved yep. here? 
Yeah, I, yeah. I do. Now, are these are these from last turn or this turn? Uh, last turn. Okay, let's get these out of the way. What about yours, Marshall? Is this your current turn marker? Yep, I'm firing. Okay. All right, perfect. Anybody else firing? Uh, no. And this is probably I this is probably why we'll, why we will need blinded orders day of as well because <laughs> you wouldn't want to see who's firing, right? Yes, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I mean, you'd see it after it's already fired and coming out your face. Well, yes. But... <clears throat> And yes, I agree, Marshall, that we probably should keep that to a full turret. It's firing at the same range, right? But yeah. we, we won't do that right here. But it's okay. I, I totally agree on that. Makes the most sense. Alright, does anybody else need to lay down a fire? Nope. I, wouldn't. I, I don't think I'm 44 inches or less hmm, from knows? them. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> my form, at least my formation. All, right. all, all you all see at this point is black blobs on the on the horizon, if that. Because your searchlights probably wouldn't even go this distance necessarily. <clears throat> and that's what we no. What we'll do is we'll hold a conversation about that later, um, and I'll read up on it a little bit because I'm sure I think the. The, the version of the rule book I, I have kind of goes into this a little bit, but but not into too much detail um, as far as how they handled night fighting. Uh, I, I personally feel like the we can just handle it based on how we set up the scenario and how, how we set it up on the table, really, right? Um, we, we would probably... We are uh, probably performing reconnaissance by naval gunfire. <laughs> right, exactly. Well, you can do star, you can do star fire, too, right? Um, yeah, so you could shells. do star shells, you know. Um, yep. Yeah, but why waste a good gun on that? Um, <laughs> I could throw right. a shell. So, so what they good. what they would also do is they would put their um, um, put their scout planes up and have them drop flares. Well, the, yeah. Japan, I, I think the Japanese used this tactic initially it, yeah. in in Guadalcanal. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if it was anything other than like full moon, it was it was pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wonder what what kind of edge because Japanese actually trained to fight at night and they had yeah, some the only... techniques yeah. and I I wonder how much edge it gave them. Well, looking looking at what happened at Savo and Second Savo, it apparently gave them very good edge. Well, I mean, I think it gave them the edge in breaking past the pickets. That's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. that's true. Yeah, mm -hmm. and fire first. They usually fired first. Yeah, and firing first. Yeah. Well, they probably fired first because they were able to get in quicker and actually observe the enemy quickest, right? Yeah. I mean, there's probably some other things factored in. But yeah. Yeah, but they, but they but basically they usually spotted the enemy quicker. Before the enemy spotted yeah, exactly. them. Exactly, and that's yes. why they were able to fire first. <laughs> So we'll have to play around. So we'll have to play around with that. I think what there would be, there would be a grand, there would be right before the battle, there would be a grand tactical positioning maneuvering, right? And then we would have to judge. Yes. We would have to judge exactly how close they were able to get and what position. I, I I wonder how. Yeah, that that's one thing. But I wonder uh, how we could use fog of war elements yeah. of the tabletop. If it was better, yes. Okay. Let me let me let me figure out this. Let me do Marshall's firing here. Are you all locked in here? Good. All right. Let's see. Uh, was it 44? Okay, you're getting there. If somebody could put a splash marker here, it should be. Uh, uh, just copy. Uh, are you able to copy anybody? No, we are not. I, I, can, I need okay. to check. I can give you an arrow there. Okay, keep keep Until giving it. Keep one. giving it. Keep giving it. I need to I need to check how you oh, can good. give the option of copy and clone to other other players because I can I can't remember but you can give other players. Uh, okay, so he so what you what, yes, what you all, what you observe what Chokai observes off its port is a uh, splash 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 of a of an eight inches splashiness. <laughs> 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 you wouldn't be given that detail, but whatever. Um, they are so yeah, you see, classes, you see, yeah, you're getting a little, you're getting a little freaked out. All right, is that it? I'm going to remove the arrow. 
Marshall, I'm removing this. If you don't mind removing your text. And we will begin the next turn. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. So far, so good. It's a really interesting rule set. I gotta say, it, it's totally unique. I don't, I don't know of any other rule set that does this. Does, is anybody else aware of one? The range? Manually range? determine range like this. Uh, I, I wanted to tell you there is one, not sheep, but there is one uh, skirmish rule set that uses it to, uh, to fire artillery. Yes, um, the original Warhammer Fantasy Battles had uh, it was it was like this with artillery where you had to like manually put place the shot where you wanted it. Okay, I'm gonna mention one other. <clears throat> I'm gonna stuff. mention one other board game, and if you remember this, then you're old as sin, which equals me. Um, crossbows and catapults. <laughs> oh no! You never played that. <laughs> Did anybody here ever play that? I it never was, heard of that, it? but I've never heard of it. <laughs> look, look at it later. You had to. But you, you know actually what? had. You, you had a crossbow, and you had like big, big, uh, like checker pieces, and you literally had to pull back on the crossbow and and release it, and you had to physically hit the 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 um, the wall of the enemy's <laughs> That's cool. castle. And everything. So that that was awesome. So I'm pretty sure they played Flesher Print at some point in their lives when they designed that. I don't know. <laughs> you know what the 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 game I'm talking about is. Uh, World of World of Flame, I think that was the title. Okay. Uh, which which is basically I, I would like to play it because it is basically it's Osprey's. Mm -hmm. Although I think before Osprey published it, it, it was previous version was published by someone else. Uh, it is conflicts in between war periods in the 30s, like the Spanish Civil War and so forth. So there is. Uh, there you, uh, when you fire artillery, you first time you judge the range. You, you cannot measure. You just say how far you fire, and then you adjust by saying by how many inches you adjust the point where it landed. But when you when you tell uh, when you say about the catapult, I remember there was here in Poland one wargaming society that used very. They had both the land and the naval combat game where they use this improvised what you say like catapults but improvised from the pencil pencil cases with the springs they basically made their own catapults from which you needed to fire and hit other players either ship or miniature of the soldier it was very weird <laughs> um marshall did you did you color these to be the same color as your player color by any chance that's ingenious if you did that so go ahead and just say yeah <laughs> oh hang on. can we can i well here i can get you all some 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 yeah new... we can actually color yeah I mean, we should yeah. be able to that was, that was color uh, in... ingenious okay so here's some white pieces here that y'all can color and use as movement markers if you want. I'm just putting a bunch of them in the middle here. Okay, there we I go. Move mine. If you want to use them, you can. That's awesome. Here's some here's some white ones down here if anybody wants them to color them if you want. Alright. <clears throat> I think everybody's done here, right? Yeah. Everybody's done here on the Japanese side as well? Yes, with movement, I, I am done. Okay, is anybody firing primaries or secondaries? I will fire primary from Kako. Oh, and I didn't lock it, so it of course started. Wait, what Kako has? All right, so go ahead and just mark it and then type out what you're intending. Oh, they have six inches. And is everybody oh, in agreement that we can start marking it as the actual tubes on the turret? Uh, so in other words, if the turret has two, you would do two at 43 inches, and then the next turret would be three at... Does anybody, does anybody disagree with that? No, Let's that's, go ahead yeah. and start doing that. I, I have only question the caliber of main guns. The 7.8 is it's basically bit, uh, it's, eight. It Just use it as eight, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
use the, the metric to inch conversion that gets a little crazy. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I'm just I checking what I, wrote, I think I wrote it. What's as, the car course? If you mouse over it, I think I did write them as eight inch by the way, so yeah. Yeah, all right, you you did. Correct. Alright, so yeah, I'm just so I'm just checking my all allies have are are any allied ships firing for effect or otherwise. Six. Works pretty reasonably well with a reasonable amount of ships here. I, I, I was suspecting that we'd have a little bit more trouble. I think we're just getting used to it. Okay. Marshall, is your headset still working? I haven't heard you in a while. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, I'm sorry. Just to make sure. I, I'm, I'm not hearing so well, but it's probably me. I have to do something to turn up my volume. Okay. After I paste the text on the table, can I move it somehow? Um, no, the way to no, move it's it? not, no. unfortunately. Okay. I just saved the game too, by the way, just in case we have any network issues. Oh, Always wait, wait, a I good thing to do. Although there is auto saving going on too. Alright, okay, uh, I, I think I have six. I've written only four. The first, first two will be on 44. I, I don't. Because I, I, I how, many, I how many are in each of yours? Let's look at that. Keiko cruise. It has six, and I believe I, in this direction, I'm well able to fire the broadside. So let's say it looks like it's got two of them fire at Looks like it's got four and, in the front and two in the yeah, back. and two in the back. Yeah. Although on on picture, for some reason, I've seen it with two turrets front and two turrets back. So okay, I, so is everybody done placing primaries? Yes. Okay. None for me. Okay. And you're going 43 mm. inches. Are you all locked here? It looks like you are. I think I'll be a little short, but I want to see how short I will be. Can somebody mark that, uh, please? Okay. A little more than I thought. Can somebody put their mouse over that real quick? Here. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Splash. We're getting there. All right. Close. Sort of. Um, again, when we do it for reals, we probably will only be giving you this perspective of from your ship directly out. So even then, there'll be a little bit less um, granularity in how you're actually viewing it because you're. you're I mean, again, it's also night fighting. You're, you see the splash way off in the distance. It seems to be short, but you have no idea. <clears throat> All right. All right. I think that's it for that turn. I'm taking your primary shot away, Tom, and now it is movement. So very clearly declare. Let's do hobby. Um, again, the, the, just just for for clarity's sake, let's do hobby first. Uh, what's your declared knots? Yep. And just go ahead and get going. Uh, same thirty-two. Staying at one a.m. Right. That's cool. I, I trust you. Go ahead and do it, Marshall. You can go ahead. Cool. 24, yep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Again, when we do this for real, it'll be separate rooms and easier to track. But... Four. Actually, another four. Okay. Yeah, if we, if like day of, we want to get that granular, go. though, we're going to have to have, I'm going to have to try to recruit good amount of umpires because I think it would probably be about two players per umpire or excuse me yes would be about yep. optimal if we want to keep it more security yep. probably yeah which would inherently slow it down as well too but that's 
I think it'll be an interesting, an even more interesting experience doing it from screenshots only. <clears throat> Anybody need help moving? Marshall, are you done there? This this way of playing it reminds me of what what is Atlantic something the the PC game that is on Steam, Atlantic uh, Fleet. Uh, I actually oh, oh. yes Atlantic Fleet exactly. I like that game. Yes, yeah, very I like much. Yes, too. I was I was practicing with that. By the way, yeah, it's like that, but but without the suggested range, right? I get although, yes. but that's the thing. The suggested range is not always accurate either. In that game, which is kind of so no, that, that's no, a very good not. that's a very good game to play to yes, train for we'll this. Yes, <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, that's a, that's a very good call. Out. <clears throat> I need to finish. I I, I played camp. Uh, yeah, I I have last mission of the allied campaign that I need to play. In Marshall, this. <laughs> have you Marshall, have you moved? I'm not hearing you now. Just wanted to make sure before I. Okay, I think he has. I don't think he moved all the way though. That's that's my only thing. These guys are going 36 knots too, by the way. These destroyers will speed around. Uh, we already mark our shots. Um, that's Marshall. Are you still here? I got a question for you. Yeah, I'm here. Go ahead. It didn't seem like you moved your whole move. Um, I moved six inches. Okay. Okay. So you you slowed down. Yeah. I uh, no. I'm at 24 knots. That should be 24, right? Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. You're okay. right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and I just moved that six. Okay, these guys moved more. Okay. So you must be booking, Avi. Are you at full speed now? 32. Yeah, I'm 32. Okay. Okay, has everybody moved fully, and now you're placing your primaries? Is that correct, everybody? Seems yeah. like. Okay. Uh, uh, text. And I like how you did that, Marshall. So it looks like so first turret, second turret, third turret, fourth turret, if possible, right? Is that that basically how you laid that out? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like that. That's that's a good way to do it. Does that help other people too? By the way, yeah. If you want to do it, do it exactly like he just did it, where this is a turret, 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 turret. No. Okay. Does that help everybody? I think I think that's a a, a nice way to to mark it. And it's easier for me to see as well. At this rate, we might end up at torpedo range. Let's see. <laughs> That'll get ugly. <laughs> Although, you gotta wonder at night. You probably had a, a much higher probability to be able to get within effective tor torpedo range. Yes, definitely. Well, as I said, like, like the will combat shown. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Japanese side was able to decimate. Um, samurai. Although I need to check the 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 Japanese torpedoes had much higher range. Than anyone else well, that's world. right, and that's why in this rule set they allow you to do four moves. Yes. So you're doing all. Of, you're trying to do all. Of, you're trying to do all your turrets at the same range. Is that right? Samurai. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. 
Ah. See now he's getting. Yeah, you got what? Yeah, he, he's he's doing it. Yeah, okay. I <laughs> just that's a clue to everybody. If you concentrate, yeah, as you as you. Okay, I'll let you make that connection. <laughs> that was. I'll, I'll I'll just say that was a good move. I think so if you're accurate, right? If you're accurate. If you're not accurate. It's all in one shot, right? So, <clears throat> and he's got his Wait. full broadside of it too. So he's 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 valid there. Okay, so, um, everybody's. Javier, are you writing down your? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see. Hey, it. it's, it's in the right there. I, uh, <laughs> can I send planes? Since I have two. Um. Yeah, but they don't have. What is your intention with that? They're scout. Uh, they're scout planes. I mean, they're 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 there for observation, really. I mean, they they could drop yeah. flare. I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah we, we can um we can depict that real quick. Um, let me see if I can find a scout plane real quick. Yeah, we we'll, we'll just call it that. I mean, so yeah, you could you could in the real match with seaplanes, you could launch them. And they could, as long as they find the target as well, they'd have to find the target first, and then they could drop flares, and then your visibility would increase, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I think a lot of that we would do in a pre-game grand tactical approach, I think. Okay. Is everybody laid down? I think everybody has yep. laid down. All right. So let's take a look at this. Let's start with hobbies, just because I happen to be right here. All right, so he's doing 44 inches from there. Okay, if somebody could help be my marker here. I'll, 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 I'll mark you. Okay, I'm going to go from the back. I'm going to go from the ship at this right here. Okay. Just, yeah, be careful when you lay these arrows, because what I'm going to do is, I'm, the way I'm judging that is that you're doing it from, like, right here. Do you see what I'm doing? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. All right, just... just uh, from I'm doing it from where the implied middle part of that arrow hits the hull, right? Uh, Do you understand? Okay. So like, right, like for hobby, okay, yeah, like yeah. right there, is that... Uh, I mean, that's your intention, I'm assuming, is like right from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Yeah. All right, so we're... Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Oh, my lord. Oh, just short, right? No, I think it's. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it is just short, yeah, barely. I mean, it is just, it is right next to it. That was about as good a shot as I've ever seen. Ooh. Oh, we we can right. We it can... was right near it. And I think an I think, if it was a bomb, that would have scored. You know, like so. In other words, if you were an aircraft and you got that close, I think it scores half yeah. damage. But the shell doesn't. But that was darn close. All right, so a <laughs> very good shot. Okay, then your so next mine your next will one falls, be falls probably here, the same, right? Um, so my yeah, yours will be. So let's go ahead and yeah, because you because you, you have the same range, yours is gonna be the same. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Let, let's take a good look at that. All right, so yes. So the way that he has it though, it'll hit the hole right about here. All right. So I want people to to judge my judging. All right. So yeah, because where go, uh, where the, right the game here. says from where, where you need to yeah, okay, measure. So let me. This is that's from why the, I wanted to be clear before is that what I'm going to do is mark it from the middle of the arrow back where I hit the hull. So I'm doing it from here. Do you see what I'm doing? Okay. Yes. Yes. But do we need to measure it all always? We we need to me uh, place the arrow you at need, the bow of the ship. You can place it anywhere or? you want on that side. Ah, you can place okay. it anywhere you want. I mean, I know that's okay. technically not necessarily realistic, but this okay, is good. I, I think this is the best way to do it, and I might, I might have people do it. You know, do it within the first mm -hmm. quarter of your bow is probably about accurate. I think that's how they did it historically too. They did it from the bow. All right, so um, uh, at least that's what they said in the book. All right, so let's try this. I think you're off. I think you're actually off measurement a little bit as far as your angle unless you're trying to go uh, it should be my angle is uh, I think my angle is pretty damn right 
Uh, little, like maybe, I'm, yeah, maybe a little just too. Just a little bit. No, it's right on the tip. I, all right, let's let's do this. Let's do this as an as a arrow. I think you might have him. What do you see over there, everybody? I think he's got him. Hang on, how can he have me, but I couldn't have him? Because he's, because <laughs> yeah, exactly. His, because my my arrow, point exactly. Because his arrow is. <laughs> Is positioned right here. He's got it. His, his arrow is not the exact same position. Uh, mm. It it should be against the bow of the ship, shouldn't it be? It should. But okay, yeah. But, but then, okay, then... so that's the thing. Then then everybody needs to be very careful. Okay, so let's. The, then think... that's how I'll judge it. If everybody wants me to do it that way, that's how I'll do it. I'll do it exactly from the bow. Yeah, it's it's not exactly at the bow because when I when I pressed it exactly, right. oh, th that's what happened, right? Because I I think the collision box of this model is little, yeah, little okay. bigger than yours. <laughs> yeah, I mean, all that the matters is that it's consistent. The, the... Yeah, I think, the I think it's going to heal reciprocal. You, if you you, didn't... you can okay. you can measure from if you measure from the uh, from the ship instead of just fr from a point on the ground. Yes, and exactly. Up to the I nearest think... point on the ship, and that would keep it. Uh, that yes, would keep one it one one thing is yeah. I I also would measure from the ship because I as you can see I cannot just I cannot place my arrow closer because the hit box on the model interface. all right so yes i mean as logically expected we're we're just short so yes all right but it's pretty close all right both of you are very close on that all right so let's go to marshall's firing let's take a look well at i'm gonna be short yeah, there's no you're point definitely going to so let's just so that's out. that i think you're out about right here we'll just put I, here. I will probably need to go in 20 minutes okay, so. And then did anybody else? Okay, we got firing here, which probably Should I probably is be about the too same short also. shortness, probably about like right about here. Let's try that. Let's see how my dead reckoning is. And you're saying use edge? Auto edge would do it, we think. Auto edge, maybe. That doesn't seem to do it. The problem is that that it, it it's it's a pain in the ass. Let's do free edge. I don't know. It, it's just kind of we're gonna have to figure out a better way. I'll I'll, I'll experiment with it. But you, we want to do it right from the bow. And 44. Yeah, I was off. It's yeah. about. I think right I think instead of doing right from the bow, why don't you just do it from the edge of the ship? Like so that's so the you thing. measure from you so, can set it so you can set it to measure from the edge of the ship automatically. Yeah, but the problem is that watch, like, okay, so watch, if I if I hit auto edge, watch this, it it does it from the center very well, which honestly probably might be the best way to do it, but if you try to do it here, it tries, it, there's just too much crap here. It doesn't, it... Yeah, because the, the problem is that apparently someone added hitbox to this model, so actually the, the so what zone I should, around the model what we might that interacts to do... with other things... Oh, wow, that auto can well, mesh that to them? What we might want to do is do it center. It it's weird because I used auto edge and it seems to do nothing. It seems to not. Yeah, that's not that's doing really weird. Well, I'll experiment with that later, everybody. Let's let's agree yeah. to this. Hold on a second. <clears throat> let's agree to this. Uh, it's based oh, on know. where you put the arrow. Okay, where you put the arrow because what I need to do is I need to put my line exactly down your arrow. Okay. So, That's so fine. that so and then I'm gonna do it from where the hull hits the middle of the back of your arrow, okay? Okay. So yeah. I would I try to keep it like whoever did this one. That's about accurate. That, that's about as good as you can probably get. That's me. All right. That's me. All right. So and I know why it why it didn't do the edge. You can try now because the model was locked. Okay. And when the model mm. is locked, the auto edge doesn't work. Try now and see if it. Yeah, okay. and it automatically snaps to the closest point. Yep, that's yeah, great. The problem is that the arrow so, yes. being there. Yeah, that's good and all. Yeah, I guess that's okay. Yes, that's good. Yeah, but it it works only if model isn't locked. If okay. it's locked, it's. All right, everybody see that? It that, cannot that's... interact with anything around. So we're gonna do it that way, and we're gonna do it from the bow, correct, everybody? 
we're gonna okay. try okay. to do that. All right, is that agreed? Just so, just for fairness' sake, for the rest of the game. All right, next turn. I think we remove everything. If you don't mind, just be careful that you don't. Now things get interesting, right? Because now you have to gauge it based on what you just did. It's a brilliant game. Oops. Okay. <laughs> Shall we do movement? Yeah, you want me to get this out of the way, Marshall? I'll get this out of the way for now. Okay. okay. All right, it is. We are at movement. Uh, some, uh, Samurai, if you can get rid of this text right here. Okay. Thank you. All right, it's movement for everybody. Okay. Okay, and then spin that. And move. And you said we can make two moves, right? It's, Peter? hold on, hold on. You it's, can split your move you in half, You can split your I move think. as much as you want. But you have to move yeah, at least no, uh, half an inch before you do. No, yeah, 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 okay. And, but you can make two. Can you make two turns you can or make just two one? Two turns of up to forty-five degrees. Oh, sorry, okay, you have to fine, separate them by at least a half inch each. Yeah, you just have cool. to move a little bit before you do it all. Very nice, yeah, move. very nice maneuvering. Last, this this is Nels, this is Nelsonian uh, inch. There we go. You're using cables. <laughs> This is very impressive that you were able to get that close that accurately. All right. Um, very interesting thing going on here. Okay. All right. Let's place these. I'm gonna equally call this out that again torpedoes torpedoes are plotted at the beginning of your move so just just be, we're not there quite yet but if you do intend to do torpedoes they're plotted before you move and then they move and you need to plot both the you basically need to plot the bearing well right? you, plot, you plot you plot where you fired it from and then you plot eight at eight inches out and then another eight and then another eight so if you wanted yes, to... yes but but I, I mean you don't um you mm -hmm. don't choose target you just you just point it the bearing on which you fire mm -hmm. it's bearing only fire yeah okay so peter did we say we we place the arrow against the against the the, the tip of the ship mm -hmm. the bow. you would do it where you think the torpedoes are on that model i mean honestly. oh no no I'm not, I'm not firing torpedoes i'm firing firing guns oh well you can put it wherever you want Okay, that's fine. You can put it wherever you want me to measure it from, and you would probably, okay. especially if you're broadside like that, you'd probably do it right in the middle of the ship, just like you did. <clears throat> it makes the most sense. If you were bow, yeah, if but... you were bow on, you'd probably put it somewhere up here. Yeah, if I if I yeah. able to rotate it enough, it's it's easier to rotate it. Y'all 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 actually do that a lot better than I do. I, I can't I can't get that to work very well for myself. I don't know. Why. Maybe it's just my mouse or something, but. We need to figure okay. out a way to maybe even. Okay. We need to write the petition to the developers and say, "Look at this video. Look how painful this was." <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe at one degree rotation. Finally, Please. it would help in Please. all the war gaming we do. Yeah, absolutely. Anybody need any help? I'm gonna. I already moved these guys up. Uh, okay. okay. It was a bit close enough. I think I moved these guys. Oh, who's the... Oh. It's Australia here. Oh. Nice. Go to... Uh, to eight. Okay. I have a feeling that we'll probably have to save this. I don't know about y'all, but I really enjoy this. Um, I'm having fun. This is it's it's weirdly really kind of hands-on. Oh yeah. 
and it and you forget about the inaccuracy you know you know what i mean that that you just don't focus on it and and the one the things you do focus are on are important and i think i think that's what makes it really interesting i just need to hey I think peter I need, mm-hmm. go ahead marshall do you think my uh, rear turrets are in arc for firing in this general direction maybe or are you trying to fire in the same general direction i think so <clears throat> yeah I okay, so I've okay. got... I think there's enough separation there. Yeah. These are longer distances than it appears. But I would only have one more gun, right? Uh, that is correct. One more turret, yeah. Because it's nine, eight mm-hmm. inches, so right? So three, three, three. Yeah, so you'd have three more turrets coming this way. Yeah. Now you could, I mean, just another idea is that you're, this is your secondary director, so you could literally go this way if you wanted. But that's just up to you. If you wanted to size yourself, if you wanted to fire for effect in this direction, you could. If you wanted to. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <clears throat> so you do it. So in your case, you have three turrets. So you're giving me five. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Okay, I'm sorry it, about if that. I had. Yeah, yeah. We we had switched over to doing it by turret. Yep. And that was Perfect. a very good suggestion too, by the way. Right. Yep. Um. Oh, that's a really cool rule set. <laughs> Can't say that enough. All right. Um, I didn't know if a size. That's actually why I chose this. It's it's kind of a good mid mid to larger size battle. I didn't know how quickly it would run, but I think as people get used to it, it runs pretty reasonably. Um, is everybody good? Hey Tom, you're just plotting here. I'm, I I I will. Yeah, I I'm plotting. You know what? I think I am gonna plot for this guy right adjust here. Just do it randomly. It a little. I'm gonna plot for this. Yeah. And I'm gonna be fair. And well, I think it's still beyond max anyway. So I'll just say max here. <laughs> okay, be careful of using a white arrow because I assume that's a secondary. Or is... Do you... Yeah, Do you but here? I can clone red ones. There you go. All things. Mm-hmm. And you should use the bigger arrow. arrow. So hold on, let me, let me get that for you. These are torpedoes. Okay. You uh, okay, Sorry I that. I finished. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you're using small one, Tom. That's fine. All right. Um, okay, after after this firing, mm-hmm. I I will need to go. Okay, that's fine. Well, we will we'll we'll save it here if everybody agrees. Um, yeah. Okay, so where do we want to start? Let's um, you know, I started over. Let's start with Jeff. Let's start with Tom's real quick if he needs to go. All right. Um, hmm. And again, we agreed on. So this is these are these are unlocked, correct? Uh. So auto edge. No? These guys are unlocked. No. <laughs> now they are unlocked. Okay. So the intention is I'm going to measure it from the bow. Is that correct? Everybody agreed to that uh, before. Yes. And we're going to go in that direction. And what is your number there? Forty-two. 42, 41, 40. Oh, not quite. Oh, I did it. 41 and 40. Oh, okay. I did. I, I overdo it. Okay, okay. You, missed. you missed. All right, here, I'll put a marker out there that you missed. I, I over overdid Australia. Well, I... again, everybody realize that again. I'm going to mark. I'm going to. Oh, right. So you probably yeah, should yeah, get yeah. your arrows as it's, close it's, to that yeah. as you can. I got, right? I got, I got confused. Sorry. All right. So I'm gonna do this one so, too. Yeah, it, it would be like this, probably. All right, I, I think I did. overshot you as well. All right, so you're going in this direction. Oop. Yep. And Forty-four. Just... Is that a forty? You might hit. You... Nope, not quite. No, no you're, you're you're too far. Out. Not quite. Yeah, so you don't need to measure the rest. The rest is short than this. Okay, so that's all that. <laughs> Let's do hobbies real quick. 
but I overdo Australia really, really badly. <laughs> All right, so where is your bell here? Uh, I can't even see it. Yeah, uh, if you, the problem is if you try to lock, it's just gonna, it's, it's gonna jump to the. Oh no, because you can. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, you know I don't. I kind of don't like. I almost feel like we should be measuring from the middle of the broadside. I, I don't know if there really, I, I really feel like yeah. we should. Um, but I'm yeah. not gonna, I'm not gonna do it now just because that was your intention though. Come on, right? I mean, does yes. everybody agree on that? It's yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, give him that. Yes. All right. So the problem with this locking crap is that it locks on the other it's side. It's locking too. to my ship. Oh. oh what did you? What, did you what was your guess? Forty-four. Forty-two point five is the closest one. So actually, yeah, it's off. Oh wow. I overshot. Not as much, but I still overshot. Wow, oh, that's. Oh wow. Yeah, I overshot you. Pretty, pretty nice too. <laughs> all right. So that's all that. Let's go to Marshall real quick. What's over here? <laughs> all right. So um. Okay, I'm gonna ask. Okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna let the player decide. You want it from the bow or the middle of the broadside? Bow. Okay. Only because that's the only thing that has a chance of hitting. But <laughs> honestly, the broadside it is. We need to be consistent to the yeah. broadside. Oh, oh, what was your? Oh, yes. I think you got him. Oh, no. You got him. Oh, come on, I think I got him. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Move it back a bit. Okay. Can we get that arrow out of the way? Can somebody <laughs> I, get that? <laughs> that arrow. Yeah. yeah. Okay, oh, I have, we'll have to redo that. This is, this is about as close as we've gotten here, y'all. All right. Hold on. The problem is trying to get it right on that angle. I think that's a hit. Yeah, that's a hit. All right. Mm -hmm. that's yeah. First blood. Yeah. At this point, how, only, how only do you, Yes. How you, do you measure? You just mark it. I, I think what we do, we need to give like a half inch. I, I don't know. We need to agree upon like a quarter inch like leniency or something like that. But yeah, that's okay. Yeah, so so I, I was I, I I wanted to say the same that quarter inch. I think quarter inch leniency is about yeah. right. should be I think, should yeah. be. Given. I think what you could do is after shooting, you could measure the exact distance between both ships, and if the guessed distance is within a quarter inch, then you call it a hit. Yeah, yes. so let's go look at the damage. Um, well, I sank the whole fleet, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Drunk, right? <laughs> what was that it mean? was actually a nuclear shell. <laughs> yeah, I'm an American, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's like the American like national thing, you know? So yeah, Hold on. overkill. Really... I think there was a spider. <laughs> So how do you measure? Damage. First, first hold we on, measure second. the armor armor penetration. Yeah, but hold on, I'm just gonna mark yeah. it on your ship real quick. First of well, all, that's you... why I was firing at 44 was because that's where I get penetration. That's where it begins. Yes, 30. Oh, okay. With an eight inch gun, and there's no point throwing a shell farther than that if I'm not gonna get any penetration. Okay, so eight inch. Uh, well, no, the, the 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 penetration in 44 is exactly zero. Yeah, well, that's where it starts. Yeah, exactly. Well, what is the yeah, armor yeah, thickness? So, okay. We gotta look at the armor thickness of the target when the target is the cockle. Let's look at yes, the but at, at forty-four, the penetration is zero for eight inch. Yes. So. Yeah. So so it doesn't matter. <laughs> so it doesn't does penetrate the armor. So it does half damage. All right. So we do. It did thirty-four fifty points, but then we gotta divide it in half. Uh, so you did one seven two five damage. Okay, so let me, yeah, let the me damage, change that. damage values are very large in this um, game. Um, not watch here. You'll or see, not you'll thousand see. thousand one hundred fifty. How, how how the damage points these are? are it's, it's by the it's by the rating of the ship. So right now he's taken one seven two five, and let's go see if that reduces him. So he is the Kako. Hold on, I have a spreadsheet of this. So I'm gonna go look at the Kako cruiser, and you've taken seventeen twenty five. So you are now reduced to 30 knots. Let's mark that on there. So let's mark that down here. So 30 knot max. And you've probably lost, let's see if you've lost a turret. 17. You have not lost a turret yet. Okay. Once you get it, once you get up to about 3311, you'll lose a torpedo tube. Once you get up to 4415 you'll lose a primary tube okay so you okay, haven't lost I'm, any, but you have lost since you 
we've lost. Okay, I, I'm not fully understand what we calculate, but okay. <laughs> it's a percentage. I mean, you, so, you, okay, hold on, hold on. It's a percentage mm -hmm. of the original ship value. Ah, okay, by value. It's by value. Okay. It's by a computed okay. value of the entire ship's worth. Ah, you... and we reduce the value. Okay, you reduce by the, the value. Damage. And then, based on percentages of that, you lose knots, max. Okay. And then, by percentages of that, you also lose primaries, secondaries, and torpedo tubes. Okay, got okay. it. And then, what I would like to introduce as well is critical hits, but we'll talk about that another day. <clears throat> what I'm thinking of introducing is adding in kind of more, you know, more modern naval game critical hits at like the third the third of the value marks or something like that but we'll, we'll talk about that another day like fire fires magazine hits because what you what you lose here is the yeah. hood the hood going down after a move you know what I'm saying? you you lose yeah. so whatever all right so <clears throat> that's that and i th is that all the firing or i think samurai has firing here yeah all right let's do this and then we'll call it for now all right so Okay, I'm going to ask you, you want middle broadside, port, or stern for your measurement? Uh, From here. Middle. Middle? Okay. Yeah. Uh, hold on a second. Hopefully I can get this. The problem is I can't angle the damn thing if I'm... Yeah, because okay. it's going to snap to the nearest so point automatically. I'm going to do it from the middle straight then. Right. And what was your guess? 44? Yep. I don't think you got it. And thereby, I don't think you got it here. Let's see. And it mixed up pretty good. Yeah. Doesn't even have to be perfect. It's usually pretty good. What we were saying is a quarter inch sensitivity. You might. Yeah, mm -hmm. because, because hitting model dead on will be. Okay, so you're, beyond, you're 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 too far on this, but are you within an inch? Can somebody measure that? If you're within an if you're within an inch far, then you actually get a hit. Is this? I think it's farther than an inch. Can somebody Wasn't measure? Wasn't it within an inch far? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, hang on, let me. I need to, I need to unlock the. I think you got oh, there it. There you go. Uh, was mm -hmm. I not within an inch far? Of the uh, one, no, I don't think you were. It, it's one and a half inch from the bow. Okay, so then you didn't get it. All right. uh, sorry, from the stern. Okay, so we're going middle. Actually, you you know what might be interesting in my opinion, if you. Okay, this that, one. That's some, something something to ponder. If you if you hit within quarter of an inch, it's full damage, and let's say if you. Yeah, the, the, half. the only way they the only rules that they do that for are bombs, which makes a hell of a lot more sense because there's really no percussive. Ah, okay. No percussive damage here, right? There's no. Yeah, that's true. Not percussive. That would be like the sonic bomb in Star Wars. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. No, so. no, I I know what you I, I know what you mean. N near misses. Yes, exactly. The concussive, concussive, okay. concussive damage. Concussive. Exactly. All right, now okay. I'm gonna oh, ask I, you. I, go ahead. When, when I talked to Jack Green, uh, I don't know if you guys know who he is. Um, he's something of an expert on the subject. I asked him what hit rates were historically, and he was like, they're under 1%. So yes. it makes sense that virtually all your shots are always going to miss at and least you at score that one. But another thing you need to take into consideration is how many salvos the turn Fire, yes, and, but, uh, but, but, no fire yeah. represent. they state that they factor that in, and of course later rule sets like command at sea and, and general quarters and stuff uh, do factor that in. But all right, yes. so I, okay, they, I have one question for samurai. One question for samurai: um, bow, middle, or stern? Uh, bow. Okay. I'll be careful because I think this angle might get you off then. We're, we're saying within a half inch, right? I don't think he's got it. I think he's too far. I think he's too far. Can somebody... Hold on. Can somebody measure from the hull to that point? From the bow. He's going across the bow, not the midship. I think it's too far. Uh, hang on, let me just... 
Yeah, yeah. Any from from any point, it's like from way more than an Orange. inch. Okay. That was very that close. <laughs> very, very, very close, Samra. Very close. I think it's like the splash marker would be like right there. I think we got it. That was extremely close. Okay. I'm going to save the game real quick. Mm -hmm. And are we uh, putting it away for the time? Yeah, I mean, if you want to play again, I, I definitely would like to. This has been great. Uh, yeah, well, I've got to do my Creeksville podcast here in an hour. <laughs> but yeah, I would love to play yeah, this. Yeah, I, I, I really like this game. I, um, yeah. I, want, I once played this on my living room floor. I had my wife adjudicate everything. <laughs> so, you know, there's some pecu peculiarities. I like how we did it based on, you know, calling bow, you know, bow mid or or uh, stern. I like that. I think that clears that up a little bit. Well, there's well, some other things that we learned that trying to make it go to the edge kind of sucks. Um, um, <laughs> You're going to need more umpires if you want to move faster, just like regular Krieg speed. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, uh, if you had a one-to-one -one umpire ratio, then awesome. what you do oh, is be, be the so play. Quick. It would be, and what would happen is, and in fact, that would add another dimension because, yeah, because it would put would, time pressure. It would be the time on pressure. the players. And by the way, and there so, is there is a timer here. Let me show you that real quick. This is awesome. Yes. Um, and you can and actually... what I would also do is I would blindfold players yeah. during shots. Mm -hmm. And you would actually be Any... blindfold to the movement too. Well, you would be perspective yep. to the movement too. So you would actually have to gauge your movement based on relatively first person on the deck. Well, you would give an order to your umpire, right. and your umpire would say okay, or they would write it down, and then you all blindfold. Everything executes, and then you unblindfold, see the results. You get maybe 60 seconds or two minutes or whatever to see the results or whatever we want to be, depending on how charitable we feel. And then, uh, okay, now you have one or two minutes to type out your orders or to deliver them verbally, and then blindfold again. And it, it goes very quickly, but you do need a probably a one to one or a one to two one to one or one umpire to player ratio. And then the umpires will measure the shots. I wanted to show you yeah. what perspective. Would I think be. another I think another interesting thing you could do um, if you wanted to sort of speed it up a little bit is to not bother with the angle of the shot because I don't think anybody missed the angle entirely. It was all about the distance. Mm. So if you just yeah. sort of assume that you're aiming at the middle of the ship, then I can just simply measure from my, you can just kind of, you know, use the lock tool, measure from the nearest point in my ship to the nearest point in the, or from center to center, right? Or from, like, but you could uh, kind you of do it automatically. Agree upon it, and agree, like, upon it. agree upon yeah, the exactly. fault and say something otherwise. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but the thing is that would just speed it up so much. Let me see something here though. Watch this. I, I, I like plotting the angle of the shot, yeah, I do but... Too. I, I, I really do, but I also agree that if we want to go for speed and we have novice players, yeah. then yeah, maybe we do it the so quick if you look, and dirty way. If you look in the general room, I just plopped a, I just plopped a screenshot that I like. We would give this give Samurai's lead, lead cruiser. So here's the thing, though. He would have to gauge what his movement would be from his perspective shot, not from a top-down shot. He needs to gauge yeah. it from a perspective shot. And that would be become really interesting to me because that's where it's at movement especially at middle to short to point blank range that's where it starts to get very important because your arcs of fire could be blocked or you could even have ships move in that you like even friendly ships could get into your arc of fire by accident even and stuff like that so there's, yeah. there's, some, there's so much coolness with all right cool sorry um but even in this you can't necessarily tell especially at this perspective how far off you were as well yeah. either you can't do it from a top-down shot because you're not hovering in a helicopter um, yeah so i think this is about roughly how i would probably advise umpires yeah. to take the shot kind of like just a as close but as you can get behind it yeah but it, it, again with that you, you have the issue that uh like it's impossible i don't see how you would even begin to convey the angle of this shot right i i agree um, i agree so, as, so as, we would as, just... as, as a player you have no frame of reference right. to even begin to plot the shot i like using the arrows just as kind of i don't know visual cue if you will but yeah i like i don't know why i, I like the appeal of the aesthetic of it but um i agree that that, really nice. that you're you're firing upon the lead of the three that the three black smudges on the horizon right you're firing in the middle of it i mean i, I would say maybe even type that out in the order say this is 
say exactly what you're doing and we'll interpret it so but here's the thing like again i think we do need to give like a, a good i don't know what we did we agree on a half inch variance or did we agree on an, on an inch like in other words what is a hit within a half inch did we agree on i can't remember i thought quarter i think quarter inch quarter yeah inch is what quarter we inch yeah. i think he's... yeah quarter inch i think yeah. is that because especially when you get into this perspective you know, you're never going to hit each other. Yeah. Right? You're never going to hit each other. Unless you... All right. on, on, on an interesting thing on sort of realistic hit probabilities, just I like doing the math for funsies. If you assume that you have nine guns, right? And you assume that each of these guns fires once every minute. And you fire this, these guns for 15 minutes, which are the turns here. You fire for 15 minutes and assume you have a 1% probability to hit. The chance of scoring at least a hit is 93%. Over the course of one minute, about oh, fifteen minutes. Sorry. Yeah, I yeah, you're right, you're right. And I think that 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 time scale was a little off. I think uh, I used exactly what Jim had done in his video, and I think it's mm -hmm. just a little bit because the, the original rules were. I don't know if the Featherstone rules are supposed to be fifteen minutes or not, the variant or or not. I need to read up on that, or I might talk to him directly about that because yeah. the original rules were two or two and a half minutes, but so that's just it, it could be just different variations of. The, the, the books and again uh, i would suggest that the amount of fudge factor you allow uh, comes down to the skill ratings of the players yeah mm -hmm. and you might even allow a handicap like that so that newcomers can compete with mm -hmm. uh, old experts that's a that's a great system. idea that's a great idea okay very good is, very is, good there, is, is there any Rules for radar or radar range finding. It's based in no, 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 no. <laughs> now, now, could we factor in? Yeah, I just don't want to get to that minutia. Maybe if everybody. Oh, I just interested. Yeah, D different, different systems. If you just like, get... if we play, you know, if we if we played it several times, maybe by the third or fourth time, I'd say, yeah, let's go ahead and add in that. But but then it's not Greek. At that point, you're not really at the point of allowing oh, yeah, allowing new right. Greek spiel players to take part. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're right. <laughs> All right. That's true. So this I mean, was very I good. One I very, you no, know, sorry. I was just say like one one very simple way you could factor in things like radar and stuff. Instead of doing that, you could just extend the automatic. Like you can say that if you have like a ship with radar, you get ahead if your shot is if your guess is within say two inches or something like that. So it just makes it easier. Yeah, sure. Maybe yeah, it yeah, increases yeah, that. I, I, increases I was that wondering how here. to factor it. You know what? Yeah, That's so... a great idea. So so like any 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 advantage in either night in either night spotting. Ooh, that's an idea too, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah so yeah, you the, could do the same you thing. You could do the same thing. You'd increase yeah. the aperture. Oh, that's that actually works. <laughs> yeah, so wait, did I understand correctly that if you have radar, you can after guessing your range, you can modify your range, but you no, might have, no, you'd yeah, have you, more. No, no, you'd no have, you can't. Uh, yeah, you, you can't modify. So you know how like we're saying that if your shot is within a quarter of an inch, it counts as a hit. Uh, okay. So yeah. For, yeah, for example, yes. with radar, if it's Got within it. two inches, it, well, it within, doesn't have to be. Yes. We won't whatever, go too far. You know. Maybe well, try to max far, it. But yeah, but I, I get, I, yeah, I, I get what. The idea. And what I think that that's, that's think good. This is how that's how you could factor in the Japanese training is that you could give them an extra half inch or something like that, an extra quarter inch or something. That's a good yeah. That's a good great, way. That's a great yeah. way to do it without being too over, overdone. Perfect. Yep. All right. Very good. Very okay. good. All right, everybody. I hope okay. everybody had fun. I thought yeah, it was great. I was great. Yeah, I thought it was great. Yeah, that's, that's actually like it, it's the most sort of fun fun that I've had with yeah. like a with like a war game in a while. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's the whole point. <laughs> and but it's there's pretty... something very visceral about putting in the ranges and stuff. You're like, right. eh. it's it's relatively realistic too, and and it, and it was designed for speed. So, and I think the Naval War College rules are similar to this, but they factor in a few other things that make it a little slower. Yeah. But... Could you send me the link to, yeah. to the rules? Yeah, I'd love to pick them up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, everybody. I hope everybody had fun. And, yeah, it was uh, great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was good. Thanks for hosting. All right. No problem. All right. Bye. Thanks. Catch you later. Right. Have a good one. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Thanks all. Bye-bye.